A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this Gospel, it's like every line this is it's like a catch-all soup you know every line could be its own gospel every line could be its own homily every line could be its own hour of meditation um the pharisees right their approach and their attitude and then jesus saying do not call do not be called rabbi call no one on earth your father do not be called master the greatest among you must be your servant Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Each one of those, uh, each one of those is significant. What they're doing is they're breaking down, like like I've preached constantly before, breaking down self-absorption. Don't be called rabbi. There's one rabbi, God. Now, interesting, remember what Jesus says to Mary Magdalene after the resurrection when she she says, uh, when she sees it's Jesus, she says, uh, rabbi, and, and then hugs him or hugs his feet and he says, you know, don't, don't hold on to me. I've not yet ascended to my father. He's almost not allowing himself to be called a rabbi. Uh, And when Judas uh, kisses him at the betrayal in the garden, he addresses Jesus as rabbi and Jesus in a way shirks that, that title. Now Jesus is the rabbi par excellence. He's the, just like he's the high priest, but he's giving us an example he is pointing to the father, not that Jesus is below the father. They're equal, of course, in the Trinity, but he's showing us in his human form. Okay. Don't, don't take that credit. We're all teachers. 
uh, parents are teachers of their children and priests are teachers of the people and there's literal teachers in, in schools, but we learn always from, from God. He's, he's the best teacher and we're only teachers because we share in, in Christ's teaching, teaching authority. Uh, call no one on earth your father. It's the same principle. Uh, there are literally our fathers um, and we, we call our, our biological father's dad. Our priests are called fathers. We're not, we're not rejecting the Lord's uh, specific order here, but it's that, that same principle. We're only fathers because we share in the heavenly father's ability to, to be a father, right? So we don't take the credit. We always, we always point our hearts to God. Same with master, same with being great. There are great people. There are masters in our world, but it's all because of the gifts of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is good. He wants us to be rabbis. He wants us to be teachers. He wants us to be fathers and mothers. He wants us to be masters and he wants us to be great. Uh, and he will give us those abilities to do. He will give us the ability to be those things if we let him and if we keep our focus on him and not on ourselves. Amen.